I have built the longest marble run I ever created, and today we have six competitors racing through funnels, elevators, and trampolines. If they can survive all that without falling, they can be the first to conquer my version of the beast. And here the marbles go, down the new longest marble track just broken by the December track I made a few months ago. And like the last time, we have six solid color marbles racing down in an attempt to get that first place spot and hoping at the same time they don't fall down from all those ramps or loops because falling down means an immediate disqualification and all that hard work meant for nothing. And there goes Blood Red being the first one down funnel number one, but he can't get too comfy and cozy quickly because we have plenty of more obstacles that the marbles must get through. Still keeping his lead though down those first two funnels and down the sky rail track over the big giant TV screen. For the marbles, this is probably the biggest TV screen they've ever seen. And I thought Jumbotrons were big enough. This is easily 10 times bigger. Now the marbles slowly snaking their way down this set of sky rail tracks, snaking through Alex's work machine where every video on the channel, including this one, is made. Three marbles at a time joining Blood Red, but none of them capitalize on the hitting chance. And Blood Red still looks to have kept the lead. Sky Blue is the closest one. And we have Snowball and Sky Blue following shortly behind. And to your left is the 3D printer where Alex makes his new upcoming marble track that will be revealed soon. But back to the race. We have Blood Red going into that Mr. Marble funnel. And we are just steps away from the end of this leg before the marbles go up one of over 10 elevators on this track. And Blood Red down that last funnel. He's able to keep the lead for the entire time and secures it just before that elevator. We have Snowball and Sky Blue taking second and third. Lemon Yellow almost takes fourth away from Space Black. But he'll have to settle with last place as Lyman Dasher passes him at the last second. But no need to worry for these marbles as there will be plenty of more opportunities to take that lead as we get through this track. We're not even halfway through as they line up on elevator number two. Now these elevators provide much needed breathing ground for our competitors as they can finally think and strategize about their next moves as they head into the next leg. Because you can't do much long term thinking when your main goal is to battle competitors in that funnel. And now the third elevator, the last one, before the marbles go into leg number two. And there Blood Red goes, the first one immediately greeted by another funnel. And Snowball and Sky Blue take advantage. Space Black and Lyman Dasher as well, all being clumped up. And it looks like, yes, the marbles blow Blood Red's lead. And now he is in the bottom two. No, now he's in dead last. Going down that Sky Rail group. And slowly trying to snake their way through without getting stuck. And we have Lemon Yellow now taking the lead. Followed closely by Lyman Dasher. And Blood Red coming in there at last. Oh wow, it looks like we had some technical issues with the elevator. And Lemon Yellow had the jumping of his life. But thankfully that did not cause him to fall off the track. And even if he did, I don't know if it will result in a disqualification. As that was a mechanical issue by the track. That's completely different compared to if you just fly off the track through a ramp and you're not aiming yourself anywhere. Now the marbles in the start of leg three. And it appears Space Black, Lyman Dasher battling for first. Space Black now going to be getting the lead. And I think this is the first time he's gotten it in today's race. Blood Red looks to be getting better going down fourth. And I remember in the last race with a giant marble run, Blood Red came out at last and it was because that he DNF just before the finish line. And I'm sure he's hoping that does not happen again. Space Black still getting the lead just before the trampoline, one of the most hazardous parts of this marble run. Because you gotta time that jump and the ramp perfectly in order to clear it. And so far, no marbles have fallen off. We have Lyman Dasher. Now, I don't know if he's in the lead. No, it's not. It's Space Black. But Snowball, you can see, trying to give that extra pressure, giving Lyman Dasher some extra anxiety. 
And it seems like the strategy Snowball had there was to make Lyman Dasher more insecure, having his brain fill with negative thoughts on top of that elevator. And hopefully those thoughts distract Lyman Dasher enough for Snowball to pass him easily. But we don't know what goes into these competitors' heads. We only see their actions on the track. Now the marble's clearing that elevator as we head into leg number three. We've seen lots of lead changes already from the start all the way to now. I remember Blood Red had the lead down to last place and now he's in the middle at fourth place. Now only time will tell what the final standings are. When this race concludes, Lyman Dasher getting first place followed by Blood Red making it up to second. Blood Red really bringing back those gains that he lost. Going down the sky rail track, down the zigzag. Marbles have to be really careful to time it right so they don't jump the fence. And all the marbles are able to clear it. And Blood Red takes back the lead in that funnel. And he once again gets first place and Snowball falls down to last. All the marbles are now snaking their way through the sky rail track. And you can see Lyman Dasher, he's using the same strategy he did on Snowball onto Space Black. And it appears to have worked with Snowball now in last place. Lyman Dasher now climbing up to second where Space Black gets stranded in fourth place. Blood Red losing his lead again in that catcher funnel. And I wonder will Snowball be able to come back from that psychological beating given by Lyman Dasher? We will just have to find out as the marbles approach leg number five. And as we get deeper and deeper into this long marble run, the challenge will only simply get tougher, not only because of the challenges, but also their stamina is going to run out naturally. Now we have Lemon Yellow, Lyman Dasher, and Blood Red, Space Black. All the marbles now battling in that blue dish. And it appears Space Black, Lyman Dasher, they're vying for first, weaving in and out. Blood Red trying to find an opening, and he does, taking back the lead once again. Going down that green snake and the red sky rail. Snaking their way down the red roller coaster. Approaching the yellow dish and it appears Snowball. He seemed to have got back to fifth place. But that's not going to be enough. And he barely makes a hit there on Space Black. And it looks like Sky Blue might be about to pass it, but no, Snowball, he's able to get the inside corner and he takes back fourth. So he's slowly trying to climb his way out after being riddled there by Lyman Dasher. Now going down the next set of Sky Rail tracks and the marbles are approaching what might be the most intense part of the track. I'm not sure about the most intense, but it's certainly up there. We have Sky Blue coming in at second last. Space Black now taking the mantle for dead last. A position that no marble wants to be in. Now Blood Red leading the pack into the first elevator into leg six. Now this will probably be the longest break the marbles get from racing on this track. So they need to use this time wisely, regroup their thoughts, load up their stamina, and get ready for the sprint down the second half of this longest marble track here on MH Racing. As you can see in this area, we have not one, not two, but three elevators. The last elevator before that big drop, Blood Red still leading the pack. I mean, you guys know that already, as there's no lane changes in the elevators. There goes Blood Red down the big drop. All of them making their way down those three loops. And man, you can see the forces the marbles have to deal with down those turns. And you can really see why the marbles were given some extra rest. Because they certainly needed it to clear that area. Now the marbles going across the bridge that separates the two groups of this marble run. Now slowly making their way down and Blood Red making it down that yellow funnel. And that's going to be where all the marbles group up just before those elevators as we end the leg. And Blood Red, it looks like he's going to keep his lead. Ooh, some pressure there from Lemon Yellow, but yes, he still does. And as we get closer and closer to that finish line, that margin for error becomes smaller and smaller. 
so it's more crucial than ever for our competitors to retain their positions. And if they don't like where they are, they gotta get up there as soon as possible. Now we're approaching leg seven, the second last leg in this marble track. Halfway up the two groups of elevators, and this is actually the last set of double elevators that the marbles will be seeing today. Slowly making their way up, the top three, Blood Red, Lemon Yellow, and Snowball. It looks like Snowball was able to come back, and now Space Black is the one we need to be worried about. Now going down the red funnel, Blood Red getting hit absolutely by Lyman Dasher. And that hit looked to have hurt him as he drops down to third where Lemon Yellow takes back first place. Now going down the second funnel here in this leg, it looks like Snowball now, he's going to get the slight edge, gain some competition there from Sky Blue and Blood Red. Blood Red cuts through both of them and this is the third time I believe he does it now. He is certainly a master of finding the opening at just the last second and taking advantage of it. And just like that, he gets the lead once again out of that green funnel. And Space Black there still struggling, not being able to make any moves as he is so far behind. Lyman Dasher once again playing mind games on Lemon Yellow. And I don't know where he got this technique from, but he's been using it quite a bit in this tournament. And it seemed to have been quite effective, but the question is, can Lyman Dasher himself now make some progress? Because he's been pretty far behind lately. There goes Space Black joining the rest of the pack. And into our last elevator, approaching our last leg. And it wouldn't be an intense marble race if we didn't have the unpredictable Hubelino funnels. And that's exactly where the marbles will be going to now. Blood Red starting us off. Snowball and Sky Blue. Lyman Dasher now coming down. Blood Red, Lyman Dasher struggling quite a bit there in that first funnel. Sky Blue taking the lead now. And it looks to be pretty big, but no, Blood Red looks to be getting it back now, battling a bit from Snowball. But he's able to hold it, but can he keep it into that last Hubelino funnel? There goes Lyman Dasher, it looks like he's finally going to make some moves for the lead, and yes, he's going to be getting first place, and this is where it counts. Right after this Hubelino track, there's one more set of funnels, and then we're going to find out who wins the race of this longest marble run race. Space Black not able to accomplish anything. Why well, stands somewhat corrected, he's able to come back at fifth place, but that's nowhere near enough if you want to win. Now it appears Snowball now dead last once again. Blood Red still in the lead. Lyman Dasher coming down second. And Lemon Yellow putting a wrench on Lyman Dasher's plan. And that gives a slight opening there for Blood Red to retain his lead. And Blood Red now taking it into the third funnel of this leg. The third Marble Genius funnel, as I'd say. Blood Red still in excellent position. As we get closer and closer to that finish line. The last funnel Blood Red needs to clear. And there's one ramp into another funnel that Blood Red must clear as well. And he better not mess up this time. And yes, it looks like he's able to stay in. And if he clears this funnel in time, he will get first place. Some pressure there from Lemon Yellow, but he's able to keep it. And Blood Red has redeemed himself going from a DNF in the last long race to placing first in today's race. Blood Red fans and himself must be really proud. And he should be because, man, I did feel bad for him when he did all that hard work only to fall when it mattered most. Lyman Dash coming in at a respectable third place, getting a bronze medal. Space Black at fourth, Sky Blue fifth, and unfortunately, the Lyman Dasher mind games have got to snowball. And he's going to be coming down with the dead last position of this incredible Marble Run race.